Hey guys, I'm Shannon from Shanta's Workshop, and today we are going to work on a hacked glitter buffalo plaid tumbler. So what you'll need for this project is a tumbler that has been painted your main color. So we're doing a red and black buffalo plaid. So I've painted my tumbler the solid red and have allowed it to dry. Um, you'll also need a color in between your black and your red. I went with colonial red. It's kind of a just a deep dark red. And then I've got canyon black and the red I used was apple red. And the glitter is from the Glitter Guys hacked line called Ice. This will allow my paint colors to show through. And then you'll also need some tape. I like to use electrical tape. This is about three quarter inch wide, I believe. You could also use painter's tape. It just depends on um, the width you want your lines. It doesn't really make much of a difference. So the first thing we're going to do with our hacked tumbler is tape the cup off. So we're gonna start with our vertical lines. Find the end of the tape. And you can measure around your cup if you want. I like to just kind of wing it a little bit. I'm just gonna pull a piece of tape as tall as the cup and then I'm gonna go across the middle, just right in the center that down and then I'm going to go this side and I'm just going to pull it straight down and the tumbler I'm using is a 17 ounce wine glass or stainless steel wine tumbler and I'm trying not to pull too much on my tape because I don't want to stretch it and make it like thinner in the middle and I'm going to go on the other side and pull that straight. Down. And I cut the ends just enough to where I have a tiny bit to fold over the top there. So now I've got that first line taped, just making sure the edges are down. So now we're going to tape our second line, and we're just going to go straight across again. Just getting it as tall as the tumbler, and just making sure these little four corners are even. Down. And then the same thing we did on the other piece. Pull it straight down. do this two more times and you're going to do the same thing but you're going to go across here and across there so you have like a little asterisk on the bottom of your tumbler.
and once you have all of your, it's not quite even, once you have all of your vertical lines taped, you're going to spray with your mix color. So in my case, I'm doing the black and red. My mix color that I'm using is the Colonia Red. So I'm gonna go spray this and I'm gonna let it dry completely and then we'll be back. All right, so we're back. Our tumbler has been painted the Colonial Red and we just need to pull the tape and apply more tape horizontally. I'm just gonna find the one And you do want to be sure when you paint your tumbler to do thin coats. I only needed one thin coat of this red. If you feel like you're not getting good coverage, um, definitely let it dry and do a second coat, but do not try to get that full coverage on your first coat because you're gonna have issues with your paint peeling up when you pull your tape. So now you can see the original red that we painted, the apple red, and then the colonial red here. So I'm going to pull my tape and then we will do the horizontal tape. So my paint did peel up here, um, so what I'm going to try to do is tape it so that this is where a, another colonial red square will go. If it turns out that that is left exposed, I will touch it up with the spray paint before I glitter it. Okay, so now we've pulled our vertical tape. So now we are gonna tape horizontally and that is gonna tape off the squares for painting another row, the horizontal row of the Colonial Red. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna use the top of the rim here as a guide for keeping our paint, or for our tape straight, keeping our tape straight. So I'm just using the rim as a guide. And if you see my glitter buffalo plaid, where the whole thing is different color glitters, um, this is exactly how I tape off the tumbler in that video as well. got our first um, row down so now I'm gonna put another piece of tape here to use as a guide for the next row of tape And 
I'm just lining it up with the edge. This one I will pull right away because this piece I'm only using as a guide for my next row. I am folding a little corner down so that I can peel it up easily. And then we can just reuse this piece of tape to be the guide for our next row. I'm going to keep doing that all the way down. Actually, that's not going to work. Because the wine glass gets thicker. as it goes down.
So now the cup is going to get skinnier and I can reuse this tape. Log into Google Meet. This is a reminder. Audrey, log into Google Meet. Okay, now we are ready to paint the rest with Colonial Red again. We're back with our second coat of the Colonial Red. This time we are not going to remove the tape that's on here. We are going to put down our vertical tape. You're going to have to look closely at where your original red squares are. You can kind of see the line, I don't know if you can see it, but you can kind of see the line where the paint starts there. We're going to put tape over each of those stripes and then we're going to paint our black squares. So, and this gloss paint stays kind of sticky over the tape. That's why you see some fingerprints there. Alright, so we're starting at the top and looking for where our original squares are. So right here you can see that perfect square. That is where our original red was. So we're going to put our tape down there. And we're 
just going to do that all the way around. And the paint does not adhere well to the tape, so this that you see coming off is just from where the paint is not sticking to the painter's tape. That is not the actual cup right there. So I'm just going to smooth it down and we're going to do that all the way around. So again, I'm lining it up right along those lines. You can see the line here. So now we are going to paint the whole thing with Canyon Black. All right, we're back with the tumbler completely painted black. So now we are ready to remove all of this tape. So I'm gonna go slow in hopes to not peel up any of our paint. I'm just going to do that all the way around.
So we've pulled all of our tape and the lines aren't perfectly lined up, but I think it's going to look fine under the glitter. And the bottom, I completely forgot about <laughs> with this video. So what we're going to do with this one, we're going to do the ice glitter over the entire thing. And then with my first coat of epoxy, I'm going to sprinkle on some really pretty um, chunky gold on the bottom of that. But I do like the way these colors have turned out. So our next step is to Mod Podge on our ice from the glitter guy from their hacked line. So I've got my Mod Podge ready and I'm just using a one inch flat paintbrush to apply. putting on a little thick but I am smoothing it out evenly afterward and as you can see the Mod Podge goes on white but it does dry clear so when you first apply your hacked glitter you're not gonna see quite as much of your paint color through at that point until your Mod Podge dries And then after your first coat of epoxy, you will definitely see even more of your paint colors showing through. I'm just going to quickly go back around and make sure Mod Podge hasn't dried. glitter. Here it is before it's dried. You can still see my Mod Podge streaks in there because like I said, it's going to go on white, but it is going to dry clear. So we're going to give this a few minutes to dry and we'll come back to epoxy it. Okay, so I have epoxied the tumbler. Before I did that, I did spray it with some Rust-Oleum 2 times clear gloss spray. Let that dry and now it has been epoxied and I'm going to apply some chunky gold from um, the glitter guy. It's called Fool's Gold. And the biggest reason I'm doing that is because of that little spot of paint that I peeled up and I did not do anything to the bottom. So typically what you'd wanna do after you tape off your last vertical stripes, you wanna take an X-Acto knife and go around the edge of the bottom and peel up those little pieces that you crossed under the bottom. I didn't do that this time, so I'm going to sprinkle on a little chunky to just kind of cover all that stuff up. But you can see how the glitter is showing my paint colors through really nicely. I'm pretty excited about it. 
So with my chunkies, I do like to sprinkle them on with the first coat of epoxy. So I'm just pouring some in the lid and I'm just gonna start sprinkling it on. I go a little heavier on the bottom, especially when I cover up that little spot where the paint peeled up. You definitely wanna give your paint enough time to dry in between your coats and I was going a little quicker than I should have just for the purposes of trying to get this video done in the same day but as long as you give your paint enough time to dry you should not have any issues with your paint peeling up so I'm going a little heavier on the bottom and then I'll go a little lighter as I go up sure that spot's covered. Alright, so I've let this spin for just a couple of minutes, and I'm just going to take my gloved hand. You could also use some parchment paper to kind of pat these down, but I definitely want to focus on these edges and just make sure all these little guys lay flat. Otherwise, you're going to do a million coats of epoxy, and it'll still be bumpy. For the most part, when you hand sprinkle your chunkies on in your epoxy, they're going to lay flat. Like all of these pretty much are already laying flat. It's just those ones I threw onto the bottom. And there you have it. A hacked buffalo plaid tumbler. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful for you guys. If it was, please like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments, and I will be happy to answer as soon as I see them. Thank you!